review and uh, walk around of the ProWise um, interactive whiteboard. Um, this is not, uh, this is the new generation of whiteboards that are coming out that are actually not whiteboards at all. They are interactive screens. And my, uh, what I'm going to do today is go through this one. It's uh, from ProWise. And this is basically what it looks like. It is a 65 inch um, big screen, uh, like a telly. And um, it is uh, great uh, for a number of reasons, uh, which I'll look into. And we'll look at the uh, pros and cons of it uh, while through this short video, probably about two to three minutes long. And um, this is uh, the pro eyes. And uh, just to go through some of the things that you might need to know. Um, all these uh, LCD screens are generally touch sensitive and I found uh, the touch on these uh, boards is really, really good and very uh, easy to, to use and uh, nice on the finger. It also comes with some pens which also work very nicely. Screen brightness, as you're seeing here, is this is a very sunny day uh, where I am in the middle of July and you can see the screen perfectly from whatever angle you are on. Um, the uh, the ProWise comes with an inbuilt uh, Windows operating system. I think it's Windows 7 or Windows 10. I can't see from, I can't tell from here, but uh, it is, uh, works very well. Uh, I suppose uh, problems in the future might be if um, Windows 10 obviously gets updated to something else or you want to switch to a different operating system, uh, that might lead you into some issues. However, they've thought of that and apparently you can plug in any laptop and it will just uh, override the uh, inbuilt system, which uh, makes sense in classrooms. Uh, right clicks are often a, a problem on touch sensitive boards. Um, and uh, this is basically how this one works. Uh, here's my finger, I press in, and uh, there is your menu done. So it's uh, one of those holding the, um, hold in your finger and it will uh, load up nicely. So back to uh, the next se section. One of the things I was really interested in with this is how good is the sound um, and uh, the image uh, video quality uh, on um, these ProWise words? I mean, these the advantages was with uh, the uh, interactive touch screens is that it's all in one. Um, basically, you've got your sound, your projection, and your board all in one, uh, which is uh, which is good. But is the sound quality any is the sound quality any good? Well, here's a video showing. You know exactly what a teacher of the modern digital class needs. Have you been introduced to the ProWise presenter? To enable you to use this soft ProWise. I hope you could hear the sound quality is very, very good. Uh, I know I'm in an empty classroom uh, while looking at this um, board, but uh, that isn't even at its highest. It's about halfway uh, to, 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 its high, uh, to its sound quality, uh, to its sound. Uh, and I found it, uh, yeah, loud enough that you wouldn't need external speakers. Uh, what we'll do is we'll have a look at um, the software. This is ProWise, uh, his own software. It's actually online, it's on a cloud, uh, which would be different to any of the other pieces of software, which is interesting, which means no matter where you are and no matter what board you're on, you can log in and all your um, presentations will be in the one place. Uh, very useful uh, to start off with, but it does rely on decent internet quality. Uh, I'm working off a 24 meg uh, broadband here, so uh, keep that in mind when I'm doing the demo. This is a one uh, screen that I've created uh, to start off with. To move to your second slide, it's as simple as clicking on your next slide. And I wanted to go through the tools. One of the things I like about this uh, is it's, it, they've simplified it very nicely. You just have what you need. Uh, and we're living in a kind of a post um, interactive whiteboard software world really that it doesn't really matter what software you have so ultimately having all the bells and whistles doesn't matter uh, the basic tools we have are over here uh, this is uh, a select this lets you manipulate um, your, uh, your uh, images so if I click on there you'll see with this I can just move um, things around I can make them bigger smaller rotate them uh, we've got pens and pencils and things like that so our pens simply we can draw, we can change whatever we want, colour and all that kind of stuff with the tools at the bottom. Uh, you've got calligraphy pens, highlighters. Um, you can uh, do your text to um, your writing to text. So there's 
uh, me trying it out and we'll see what that turns into. There we go. Um, and then you can do that with maths uh, symbols as well. You've got your eraser, lines, shapes, maths tools, which include re uh, rulers, protractors and things like that, which are kind of handy and useful, adding your own text uh, and moving, uh, moving things around as well. So they're, I mean, they're very basic things, uh, which are as handy. Now, what I do like here is, uh, apart from the basic tools, are the graphics. Uh, the graphics are uh, good. Uh, they, um, the advantage they have over, let's say, other pieces of software is everything, again, is online. So if we go to our images, what we can do is we can search for whatever we want uh, by typing in this box. And what it does is it actually looks um, in the following places. You can look all over the internet. You could look at the Creative Commons from Flickr or even NASA's uh, website if you really want to. But we'll just look at the plain old internet. And what we'll do is it will uh, search for all these uh, items and the one you want. So I'm going to pick my logo and up it comes. Um, I have a good broadband speed, so therefore uh, that's why it came up so quickly. Now the thing is when you have that graphic, you can manipulate it uh, very easily. By making it smaller, uh, you can rotate it. You can do pretty much what you like with it. So it's a, it's a handy, a handy little tool. Very simple again. Um, the software comes with games. They're fine. Um, nothing to write home about uh, particularly, but no, no better, no worse than anything else that comes with it. They come in the tool section here. So we have uh, maths tools. Lots of them there. Plenty of them there. I'll just show you money. Just so you have it. Um, let me see. We have changing money, you have a calculator, how much do I receive back? They're all little games there that are handy. You can search by age. Um, so that's the primary level ones, which are which are kind of handy as well to have. I won't go into any of those because they're not. Uh, they're they're all fairly standard. Uh, one of the other things I really like about this is the quiz, and this is where it really comes into its own as a as a piece of software. Uh, not only can you create quizzes, uh, but you can also um, uh, use other quizzes that people have created and um, I'm just going to show you what happens when you click on that so you can make your own quizzes by clicking on maker and uh, I'll do that um, you can edit an existing quiz or make a new quiz if we were to make a new quiz it's very simple it's kind of a uh, multiple choice sort of stuff you create your title create your description and you move on and you create the various different quizzes that you want it's it's pretty much straightforward if you're uh, not interested in, cre in creating I'm not going to create a quiz here what we'll do is we'll play one that already exists so if we want to do that we will go to our play button and what it does is it has a number of quizzes that you can try out. Now, I haven't created any, so that's why there's no results found. Uh, that's my private account. My school hasn't created any, but they have a big community which uh, creates other quizzes. And uh, if we just uh, select one just for uh, the sake of trying it out, there's our maths quiz. They have a geometry quiz here. Are we sure we want to open it? Yes. Uh, the quiz is being loaded and we have the quiz here and you can start the quiz whenever you want. Um, the great thing about this really, I suppose, isn't just that you can create the quiz on the board. All children can actually bring their own devices in and set up a ProConnect um, where they can uh, actually answer the quiz from their seats using their own devices if they have them. Or you can go traditional and uh, select the classic, which lets you just answer the uh, quizzes. Uh, there's the first question, which gives you your right, the second question, which has a more and, uh, and obtuse and so on. And once you're done, uh, it gives you it can give you the results at the end, um, which is which is quite useful. I think the main advantage of this is that people can use their own devices for answering the quiz, and it works very well uh, through that. So that's um, the quizzes, which I like uh, very much as well. And we can get out of that. Okay, so we are now um, on to, uh, so we've gone through our basic tools, our graphics, games, and quiz. Um, really, ultimately, the board is very sturdy. It's uh, 65 inches. Uh, its entry price is um, comparable to most other interactive whiteboards. It seems very sturdy. Uh, it can be bought, it can be put up directly on a wall or like this on a trolley. If it's on the trolley, it can be adjusted up and down and it can even be used as an interactive table, uh, which is uh, which is a kind of a handy thing for an infant classroom. Um, 
when I was given the demo myself, uh, I'm not going to do it here. The uh, guy uh, bashed on the screen with his fist and uh, it remained in one play in one piece. I'm not going to do that, but I trust that it is a sturdy enough uh, for children to use uh, in, in the similar manner. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that demo. It's uh, slightly longer than I expected it to be. Uh, not two minutes, more 10. Um, and I hope um, if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. Thank you.